impressive marksmanship, cowboy. Wow, looks to me like you can pretty well hit anything you aim for. So, who will it be? Burn badly. I know you have some. It's ugly. And you're gonna have to deal with it however you choose. But, um, I would ask you to do me one favor. Yeah, what's that? I've lived a full life. And then some. So if you decide that somebody has to die, for this, let me do the honors. It'd be a lot easier for me to go on the run indefinitely. And if I get caught or drop dead trying, at least I would die a very happy man knowing that I saved my son from the regret and the remorse of committing impulse mayhem, no matter how justified. Thank you, Dad. It means a lot to me. But, uh, I don't have any intentions of killing Elizabeth or Nicholas or anyone for that matter. I'm just, uh, I'm just trying to figure out how I'm gonna live my life now that I don't have a future that I can see. Or feel. Oh, excuse me. Mr. Brandt just got out of recovery. Today. Are you sure? You look a little pale. So I'm fine. I'm, I'm just busy. Oh, okay. We don't want to keep you. Have a good day. Beyonce's brother. Sleeping around. Slut. Tramp. Home wrecker. Beyonce's a slut. Sleeping around. for you watching me grow up. You don't know what to tell your kids, how many hard truths they need to swallow and at what age. I guess the problem was all the illusions that mom projected of this perfect family were reinforced in my head, just enough to where I actually believed it. Maybe it was because I was young, but I mean, I really... I really believed that love could last, that people could actually live happily ever after, but it usually doesn't, doesn't work like that, does it, Dad? No. But don't blame your mother. She didn't intend to fill your head with illusion. She believed. We were the perfect family for a long time. She knew her faults, she knew mine. And she loved you and Lulu. And she did the best she could, we both did. And Laura and I had something wonderful. 
for a lot longer than we deserved. It was wrong of me to ever judge your marriage, Dad. I'm sorry. I don't think you should be sorry. I think you should judge my marriage. I mean, for heaven's sakes, you were there. You and Lulu were there through the good and the bad. Of course you're going to judge. Who, who else has a better right? But I think that if your mother is responsible for instilling hope and belief in you, you should thank her for that. Because a man's beliefs define him. And you are an extraordinary young man. I just don't want you to lose that part of you. I don't know if I'm strong enough to hold on to it this time. I cheated on my fiance by sleeping with his brother, and now he knows the truth. And yes, yes, he called me a lying slut to my face because that's exactly what Elizabeth, I am. Stop. No, stop. stop. You stop. I want everyone to know the truth. I want everyone to just stop speculating and whispering about me. So just take a good look. Take a good look at the fallen woman, the liar, the homewrecker. Come on, let's go. Come on. Just leave me alone. I'm fine. Elizabeth, you just broadcasted our affair to the entire hospital. Yeah, you're not, you're, you're not okay. You're obviously hurting right now. Good. I should be hurting, and so should you. If I could change what happened, I would, but I can't. I just want to help you. I don't want your help. I don't want anything from you. Just leave me alone. You need to, you need to stop punishing yourself. Take, take some, take some time off. Get, get, get away from here so you yeah, can take try and heal. Take yes. Some time off. I have like two kids and okay. a job. Then take those, take the boys with you or leave them with Audrey, whatever. I just, I think you need to be alone right now so you can process this whole thing and hopefully forgive yourself. Right? That way isn't gonna change anything. There's just some magic fix to what we did. I have to stay here and I have to face it. And I have to live with how I betrayed Lucky and myself. I... <laughs> Lucky, you got a minute? Sure. What's up? Uh, look, I'm... I realize I came a little late to the party, you know, but being the most recent addition to the Spencer clan, I'm a little unclear as to the ins and outs of what happened. Oh, that's pretty straightforward. Elizabeth cheated on me. It wasn't her first time. This time it just happened to be with Nicholas. Yeah, well, personally, I'd love to kick Nicholas's ass for many reasons, but I mean, that's no way to treat your brother. Well, glad we agree. Look, I'm... I'm never going to be the guy who judges you for the way you deal with things, all right? Um, if you want to drink yourself into oblivion, I'll pour the cocktails, you know? And I might even pick up the tab every now and then. But uh, most importantly, I would just want to offer my services to make sure you get home safely instead of drunk or driving all around town and winding up in an alley somewhere passed out. Because you know, right. trust me, that's not fun. <laughs> yeah, maybe we can uh, compare stories someday. <laughs> well. You know, what do you think? You think you'll let me help you out? I promise, no lectures, okay? It's just a free pass to call me whenever, and I'll come get you and get you home, okay? No questions asked. Thanks, Ethan. I uh, appreciate that. It's very generous of you. I may even take you up on it sometime. We'll just have to see how it goes. I'm actually uh, a little surprised that you'd make the effort, considering... What a jerk I was when you first hit town. Oh, you weren't that bad. Yeah, I was. It was wrong of me to question your motives. You know, like, who am I to judge, you know? Okay, so you're not perfect. Neither am I, you know? We have that in common. <laughs> since we're both here, then maybe we should talk. I have nothing to say to you. I have no desire whatsoever to see you. I'll talk to you later, Ethan.
I just wanted to ask him about the kids. They've really been wanting to see him, and I have no idea what to tell them. You know, 